Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. Eric here, and today it's time to accept reality. This is just my personal opinion. It has nothing to do with what I want to happen because there's nothing I'd rather have than some baseball this year. I'm ready, okay? But I got to be honest, based on all the obstacles and everything going on, I've kind of hinted at it. I don't know if I've come out and actually said it, but I'm going to actually say it. And I know it's going to offend people. But what I'm trying to tell people is this is just what I think is going to happen. It's not what I want to happen. And that is, I do not think we have baseball this year at the major league level. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 There are just too many obstacles, whether real or imagined, there's still obstacles. Whether it's just for the public, you know, perception, there's still obstacles. I really think they can play right now and everything probably will be fine. That's what I think. I don't know that. I'm not an expert and I've said that before, but I feel like this whole thing, we've taken it way too far. It just feels that way. Could be wrong. Not trying to be insensitive to anyone who's gotten sick or especially anyone who's passed away. I mean, that's absolutely terrible. I mean, it's horrible. Don't get me wrong on that. But that's the same for anyone who passes away, whether it's for whatever disease or whatever sickness, or if it's an accident or if it's a car accident, that's absolutely horrible. But we don't just stop living because people can't pass away. Now, again, not an expert. If it meant that the whole this thing was just gonna destroy everything, well, okay, yeah, you gotta take measures. And I believe that measures needed to be taken. Did they need to go this far? Maybe not, but it doesn't matter. That's what it is. It is what it is. It has gotten to this point, and there's no baseball right now. It's gotten to this point that everybody is scared and we're in masks everywhere. It's gotten to this point where this thing is a complete pandemic, perceived or actually, it is what it is. And so, is there going to be baseball this year? That's really what it boils down to. Any other my other opinions are, are, are don't matter. Is there going to be a baseball? Because that's what this channel's about. I don't think so. What did you say? And when I say too many obstacles, they don't all stem from just trying to get out on the field and play and have all the testing and everything, which they're going to have to take away testing from people who really want testing. And that's going to be a big problem, but we'll get into that in a minute. Players are saying, hey, we are not going to take any kind of a deal that involves revenue sharing or salary cap or anything like that. We are, the, the player said we have had our agreement. It's done. And that's it. We are we're, we're ready to go. Owners are like, no, 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 no. That agreement was based on having fans in the stands. Where there's no fans in the stands, it's completely different. Come on. Come on, players. You understand that. So we got to redo the deal. Players are not touching that. And so if owners have to pay their play the players like the original agreement, owners might say, well, then fine. No season. It's going to destroy us. But so will having a season and having to pay you guys the regular salary prorated and not having fans in the stands. That's gonna ruin us anyway. So we're getting ruined one way or another. So they might just say, screw it, let's not have baseball. And I think if it does come to that point, I don't think they're gonna make it public that it was about money. They're gonna try to spin it that it's about safety. Mark that down. Major League Baseball has decided with heavy hearts that although we are ready to play and the owners and players have come to an agreement, unfortunately due to the circumstances and uh, circumstances and the public safety factor, we will not be having baseball this year. If that happens, in my mind, I'm like, y'all couldn't figure it out money-wise because owners are standing strong as well and they have told the players as much. You say, you got two options here. You can either renegotiate with us, come up with a new deal, probably involving revenue sharing, or you can just wait until things are clear enough that we can have fans in the stands because that's the only two ways that we're going to move forward. But even if they do come into an agreement, let's just say they figured out, let's say the players go for the revenue sharing or whatever, they figure something out. Even then, you can't just go out and start playing. They have to have so many tests to go around to be able to test every player, every coach, every single employee that is helping those games take place, which is going to be a ton, thousands. Thousands of humans are going to need testing constantly, every other day possibly. That is a ton of tests. And there are going to be still, as long as there are people out there who don't feel well or feel that they need a test and can't get one, yet they're going to see this. Major League Baseball players are all getting tested so they can go play a game. That's how they're going to look at it. We know it's more than a game. It's freaking baseball. I mean, come on. Freaking absolutely vital. But the normies don't understand that, you know, so they're going to be upset. Understandably so. And that's going to be a problem. And then there's the problem of thinking, oh, God, it's so contagious. Everyone has to be six feet. Social di you can't play baseball and social distance. You cannot play baseball and social distance. 
They're trying to do that, act like we're going to play baseball, but everyone's just sitting, you know, far apart, and there's no high fives, no spitting, all these stupid little rules. That's not baseball. You either have, you play or you don't play. I mean, you cannot go out there and try to social distance on a baseball. I'm not saying you can't have any guidelines. You can have a few, I guess, but it's mostly just for, hey, look, we're doing something. It's, it's, it's not, it's not really practical because it's all for nothing when you're out there and play baseball. You're sliding into each other. You're tagging each other. You're first holding the guy on first base. Throw over, what are you going to say? No throws to first base? That would speed up the game, but then guys are going to be running and stealing bases all day long because they can get a huge lead and just take off. And then the throw to second, they got to play the tag on there, and there's guys right there, and the ump's got to be in there to see it. Ump can't be back a whole lot. You know, umpires are bad enough as it is. Oh, game-winning home run. Nobody's six feet. You can't touch. You can't hug. You can't high-five. You can't do anything. No emotion. You have to keep yourself in check. It's not baseball. That's not sports. But it just goes to show how worried everyone is about having any kind of contact. So at the end of the day, when you play baseball, you will have contact. So I think that's going to be something that they're worried about. Even if they're not really worried about it, they're just worried about the public perception. The public perception is something. So I think that what's going to happen is what I said, and they are going to somehow come out with the fact that we can't play due to safety concerns. Just wasn't feasible to get in a season, unfortunately. It's going to be that crap. In reality, I don't think they're going to have the money figured out, but they might try to come across as they did. This is just what I think is going to happen. It's my opinion. Again, I don't base my opinions on what I want to happen. Never have. I don't predict the Giants to win the World Series every year, even though that's what I want to happen. I never have been like that. I know a lot of people who are. Someone who lives in Atlanta, like, hey, who do you think is going to win the World Series? Oh, Braves. Well, yeah, I know, man, I know you want the Braves to win, but who do you think is going to actually win it? Braves, baby. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Falcons. NBA Finals, Hawks, baby. Yeah, okay, I got you. A lot of people are like that. They predict what they want to happen. That's not a prediction. A prediction is what you think will happen, whether you want it to or not. And in my opinion, there won't be baseball this year. We're not going to have a season. We're definitely not going to have a minor league season. Mark that one down. I think that's common sense. No minor league season is happening. And I don't think a big league season is happening. But I hope I'm wrong about that. I hope it does happen. But I am worried about the toll it's going to take not having baseball for a year for us hardcore baseball fans. It's going to be... It, at some point, at some point, it's going to be, you know, I talk about withdrawals kind of as a joke. At some point, there's going to be serious withdrawals because every off season is rough. Every off season is suffering. The only thing that keeps us through the off season is talking baseball and talking trades and talking free agents and checking out the hot stove and all that is awesome. But there's no hot stove right now to speak of. And if there's no baseball this year, there's not going to be much of a hot stove during the next quote unquote off season. And uh, it's going to be rough. The YouTube channel is going to be rough. It's been on life support ever since baseball stopped, and I'm just trying to keep it going, and I appreciate everyone who continues to watch, and I appreciate your support. Let me know what you guys think down below of baseball and if it's going to happen this year. I'm saying no. That's not 100% no. I'm not saying it as a, like if it happens, I'll be glad to say, oh, I was wrong on that prediction. I'm not saying it's absolutely not. I'm saying I don't feel like they're going to be able to get it in. And I hope I am wrong on that. I hope I can come out and say I was wrong because I have no problem doing that because I usually am wrong. So have a great day and also check out my podcast. Every YouTube video that comes up will also be released as a podcast. The vast majority of them anyway will also be put out as a podcast. I, my podcast is up on all the major podcasting websites and apps and all that so you can look it up look up hum baby baseball there's also going to be extra podcasts that will be strictly podcasts that will go 30 minutes 40 minutes so i'm gonna have much longer shows over there you can listen to on the way home and back from work if you're going to work so things like that so check out the podcast if you guys don't mind in whatever app or whatever it's on if there's a subscribe button hit that subscribe hit that follow button whatever it might be and i would really appreciate that and uh, you guys are awesome have a great day. Let me know what you think down below, and I'm going to talk to you next time. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's fine.